Hey y'all, welcome back to Rich History. In today's video, we're going to be going over five things that you need to know about the World War II M1 helmet liner. So number one, the parts. So starting off with the main suspension here in the center, this is called the webbing. And there are three straps that connect to a central loop in the center with the straps connecting to the dome of the helmet on these metal A-clips. Going around the edge of the helmet, we have the leather sweatband, which is an adjustable canvas and leather strap that is meant to keep the helmet on the user's head. On the back, we have the neck support, and included in this is the detachable khaki strap called the nape strap. Looking at the outside of the liner, you can see the adjustable leather chin strap that is meant to keep the liner secured in the steel shell. You can also see the rivets where the metal A-frames are attached on the inside of the helmet. And finally, you can see the eyelet, which allows the user to put insignia on the helmet. Number two, the color. So on just about all of World War II helmets, the color is gonna be a OD3 khaki color, like this helmet here. And on very, very late war helmets and post-war helmets, the color is gonna be OD7, which is a darker green. This is OD3, and this is OD7. Number three, the angle. So on World War II helmets and immediately post-war helmets, you're gonna see the webbing going downwards at a slant towards the back of the dome. On like Vietnam era helmets, the webbing is gonna be flat and horizontal and there's not gonna be a neck suspension. But on World War II helmets and immediately post World War II helmets, it's gonna be at an angle downwards into the helmet. Number four, the maker mark. So this has to do with who actually made the helmet liner. You might be like, oh, that's obvious, it's the US government. Not quite so, my friend. Civilian companies during World War II switched to making wartime goods. So for M1 helmet liners, some of the common companies that made them included Firestone Tire, Westinghouse Electric, KPAC Manufacturing, and Seaman Paper Company. The Firestone marking was the letter F inside of a shield. The Westinghouse marking was an encircled W. The KPAC marking was a plus mark, and the Seaman Paper Company marking was an encircled S. This helmet liner in particular is a Westinghouse liner with the marking, as I said, right about there. Here it is. And then finally, last but not least, number five, dates. So the first place that you should be able to find a date is on the nape strap, which if you recall, is the detachable strap on the neck suspension. And yep, you can see that there's the quartermaster date and the lot number, and right here above my thumb, you can see barely 1945. The other place that you should be able to find the date is on near the buckle of the sweatband. And you can't see here, it's, it's very, very faint, but you can see lettering there. Well folks, that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a comment. I like hearing from you guys, and I'll see y'all next time.